What's going on everyone? It's Art here from Vibrant Performance and I'm here with Matt Morgado from GT Customs. Uh, over the years, Matt's been always tagging the Vibrant account and we've been seeing some really cool stuff coming out of his shop. So we decided to pop in for a little visit. Today we have Farid Nar Mohammed's IS300 here with the 2J swap. Matt, what have you done on the car? Recently we just did the new intercooler pipes, new intakes, uh, intercooler pipes in the bottom as well, all using the Vibrant Titanium and the HD clamps. Also some of the new Vibrant 1.5 Titanium and couplers for the coolant tubes, the hose ends, all the lines, the Vibrant catch can, and pretty much just finishing the setup and making it look the way it should. I love all the coloring that you've added to the car. It's gonna really stand out. Um, what are some of the challenges you find working with titanium as compared to like aluminum or stainless? Titanium is definitely a, a more tricky material to work with, especially welding, welding it properly with the right heat to get all the right colors through the welds themselves. Mm -hmm. um, and, and you know, keeping it clean and, and polishing it and, and heat treating it to make it look like this. So it's definitely more work than using an aluminum or stainless steel, but the aluminum still looks awesome on the bottom and it's a good transition off of the, uh, the titanium on the top. Absolutely. Talk to me about this twin setup here. Like I see a lot of going on here and I'm sure a lot of people are gonna ask questions. What is happening here? So it's a twin uh, twin setup on the 2J, which is really cool because a lot of guys usually stick to a, a big single, but um, just getting all the uh, piping work in there and so you can see all the titanium off of the turbos and you know have everything colored and have it so that the filters are staggered to see the pipes underneath. There's a lot of thought process to getting it to you know turn out and look the way that it does, but it turned out awesome, especially with all the HD clamps instead of silicone couplers everywhere. So I think that really sets off the bait. Talk to me about this Y pipe. How long did that take? The Y pipe took a long time to make. Uh, I would say that that lower section was, you know, past five hours to tack and design and, and put together so that it worked properly and that it could come in and out of the car without having to take a bunch of stuff off. So it was definitely probably the most challenging piece of the whole setup was the, the Y pipe underneath the intake. Um, that and, you know, getting the uh, throttle body side, the cold side to come down nice with all uh, really shallow, smooth bend and, and using all the vibrant pie cuts in there. Now, I noticed that you have all the titanium at the top and aluminum at the bottom. Yeah. What's your well, behind that? We, uh, we use the titanium at the top, obviously it looks good. It's also good for, for transfer of heat. It doesn't take on heat well. Um, and then using the aluminum in the bottom um, also for, for cost. It looks great still, but it's a lot more cost effective than doing titanium throughout. And it, it's good for cooling as well. So it's definitely a nice way to do it. And when you pop the hood, you see you know all the HD clamps, all the titanium, all the color, um, and then have it go in the bottom and then you'll use the vibrant couplers and T-bolt clamps and, and aluminum to finish the bottom section off. Cool, I agree 100%. We uh, mainly specialize in building custom exhaust systems. We also build full turbo setups, custom intercooler pipes, uh, headers, roll cages, pretty much anything fabrication or welding related. Right now, you can find us on Instagram. Uh, you can also call us directly. We answer the phone all day, six days a week, and uh, email anytime, and we can get back to everyone as quickly as possible. Cool, thanks a lot, man. Hey, thank you for coming down. Awesome, thanks.